do you want to know the best advice I ever received? So when I was starting my first business and then even over the last 10, 12 years, it's interesting because there's so much information out there and there's so many people giving information and giving advice, you know, everything from how to grow a, you know, grow a team, how to hire, how to market, you know, how to uh, build a business, all these different things. There's so much advice out there. There's so many courses. There's so much information. Everybody is telling you what you should do. But the best advice that I ever received, ever, and it still holds true to this day, is stop taking advice from people who don't have the results. Okay? Stop taking advice from people who don't have the results. What does this mean? Well, it means that the barrier to giving advice is fairly low, but the actual quality of that advice can vary. So, for example, you know, there's a lot of single people that give relationship advice. There's a lot of people that don't have money giving financial advice. There's a lot of people that, let's say, are not very healthy and in shape giving fitness and dietary advice. And there's a lot of people that are not growing their organizations giving business advice. And I've always found this to be very interesting, and it, and it helped me. If your goal, I'll, I'll tell you, if your goal is to grow your business and you've got a service-based business, you want to grow it to a million dollars, a great person to get advice from is somebody else who runs a service-based business that's grown it to a million dollars. If your goal is to grow it to 10 million, then another great source of information is someone who's grown their business to 10 million. If you're looking for someone who, let's say, I mean, I always look back at this because if, if you've got, let's say, a financial advisor giving you money advice who makes less money than you, then that to me seems to be a conflict. Maybe it's time for a new financial advisor. And I'll, I'll tell you, this has been one of the greatest, greatest uh, pieces of advice for me because everyone that I take advice from is doing better than me in the area that I'm taking advice from, okay, whenever I'm asking them. But here's, here's where it gets tough. Because there's a lot of people around us that do give us this advice, I mean, how, how many times have you gotten advice from a spouse, a sibling, a friend, a peer? You know, I have people giving career advice that themselves have, you know, never – let's say, reached a certain level within their career. They're giving advice all the time. And this isn't necessarily malicious. It's just the fact that people are giving advice based upon their experiences. But if somebody has never been to where you are, or rather where you want to go, and they're giving you advice on how to get there, then perhaps consider the fact that that may not be as, um, as helpful to you in actually getting there. And, you know, again, here's the hard part with this. How many people watching this have been told by those around them that they need to relax, they need to take it easy, they work too hard, and that comes from a spouse, a peer, you know, someone in your family. But here's the challenge with that. If they've never done what you're doing, then perhaps the advice of take it easy may not be conducive in achieving that goal. And they're not saying it because they're trying to give you bad advice, they're saying it because they care about you but they may not be as qualified to help you achieve a goal that you have in your career as somebody who has achieved that actual goal. So that's where I would encourage you to make sure that you're taking advice from people who have the results. I see a lot of people on, on social media, on stages, talking about how to build and grow a great team and a great organization that don't have a team of their own. I see people talking about how to do uh, marketing and social media that themselves in their business are not investing in it. I mean, for us, it's been very important you know, for Chris to be walking our talk. I can say, full transparency, that we outspend every single one of our clients on social media. Every single one of them. We offer it as a service, but we outspend every single one of our clients. Why? Well, because we believe in it and it works. And if we believe in it and it works, well, why, wouldn't we, why wouldn't we do that? And when I see organizations that say they offer a certain service or let's say they provide um, a certain coaching or training or what have you, and they're not living that within their own organization, I start to question the, the quality and the efficacy of that advice because they simply don't have the results. And when in doubt, prove it, right? Ask them to prove it. So the thing that will, I, I believe help you grow the most in terms of the feedback and the advice that you get is to make sure that you're getting it from people who have the results, that have been 
uh, to where you want to go, that may already be where you want to go, that can provide you with that experience and, and, and so on in any area that is valuable to you. And remember, don't let broke people tell you how to get rich.